Okay, in this video, I'm going to make Neil Armstrong's famous speech go from this. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. To sounding like this. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Let's get to it. I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative, and here we are in Adobe Audition. So I've downloaded Neil Armstrong's famous... That's one small step for man. And there's all kinds of crackling and background noise going on there. It actually came from the NASA website. They've got archives of everything from Apollo 11 and many of their other missions as well, available, free to use, copyright free. Fantastic stuff. Love it. And I'm going to attempt now to do some good work on this. So the first thing I'd always do when I'm working in Adobe Audition to do audio restoration, because in my opinion, it's the best software out there for noise reduction and removal, is I'll pop open this view up here. It's the spectral frequency display. Shift and D is the shortcut key. And it brings you up like a heat map of what's going on with the audio. So we can see different frequencies highlighted uh, in different colors. Obviously, the bigger the color, so the more fiery the color, so the more yellow it is, the more hot it is, the more of that frequency there is. Then it's red, then purple, then black for silence. Ideally, in between Neil Armstrong's speech, we want it to be completely black, kind of almost like that, to show that there's nothing going on. At the moment, there's loads of background noise. And you can see there's lots of stuff going on in the bass down there. And you can also see there's a big frequency running through here at about 500 hertz. Ooh, that's a sort of celestial sound, isn't it? And here? Ooh, yes. Very otherworldly, isn't it? And then around here, we got lots of little glitches and dots. That might be radio interference, something like that. I mean, who knows? We could dive into this as a separate project. Lots of stuff going on there. And of course, up at the high end there, I can see there's a frequency running through at around 4 uh, kilohertz. Okay, so ideally we want to remove all of that stuff. So to do it in one foul swoop, actually what I'll do is pick a good amount of the noise. And then I'm going to teach various different tools. Two different tools I might use to do this. And the first one is under effects, noise reduction restoration. And it is actually the noise reduction process here. And I'll capture the noise print. So it gives me a print of just the noise only. And then I'll switch on preview mode at the top right to show you before and after. And you can actually look here already to see the difference it's making. That's one small step for man. And remember before, Wow, lots of noise. That's one small Off. step for man. And on. So you can hear the difference there. Now, obviously, I've got noise reduction cranked up to 100% and reduced by 100 decibels. That's a strong amount of noise reduction. If I want to dial that in further, I can probably pull the noise reduction off a bit. You see more noises appearing. So this does need a strong amount of noise reduction. Let's pull the reduce by up. That's a little more natural now. That's one small step for man. And what we can actually do is we can grab those lower end frequencies and focus on them more by pulling those up on the graph and you'll see them disappear. That's one small step for man. And we'd probably go with this actually. Let's listen to the rest. One for man. Pretty decent and let's listen to this one. And, uh, step off the lamp now. Okay, now obviously you can see here the frequencies of Neil Armstrong's voice. They kind of drop off above 2 kilohertz, so we've lost a lot of frequency information there. Um, another way I could do it, if I didn't want to use the noise reduction, again, I can select a portion of the noise, go into effects, and we'll go to noise reduction restoration, look for the sound remover, and we'll learn the sound model of the background noise and hear how that makes a difference on the default settings. That's one small step for man. Okay, it's not as good because the background noise kind of comes in when Neil Armstrong talks and then disappears entirely pretty much uh, without the speech. So noise reduction in this case is probably a little bit better. But what if I went ahead and dragged Neil Armstrong into Adobe's Shasta project? This is a brand new project from Adobe. It's fantastic. It does magic with audio. And all you have to do is create a new project. Uh, so we'll do this. 
and then we'll go ahead and give it a name. We'll call it NASA, like so. And I'm just going to upload some audio uh, that's on my hard drive here. This is the Neil Armstrong speech. In order for this to work and to run an AI filter to improve Neil Armstrong's speech, I'll first need to head into the dots menu, transcribe it, and when it is fully transcribed, I can then run a filter over it, which is called enhanced speech. And it uses AI algorithms to detect the speech and give you almost studio quality sound on the voice. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Tick enhanced speech and then play it back. Let's listen to how Neil Armstrong sounds now. <laughs> Sounds like some weird meditation, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Now, as you can see in here, first of all, the transcription wasn't quite bang on. How about the lamb now? <laughs> <laughs> it's one small step for man, hour by hour, fleet commander. Hmm. Somehow I don't think Neil Armstrong was looking for lamb and fleet commanders on the moon, but hey, you never know, do you? <laughs> AI isn't quite there yet, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Is AI going to take my job yet? It's done a pretty decent job on some of it, uh, but transcription mm, and the weird meditation style uh, chanting. Yeah, that that was because it was probably reading information from the noise, the background noise, which is why perhaps I'm not out of a job just yet, because I can actually do some improvements here. So I can go ahead and grab the effect that I was showing you earlier, noise reduction restoration capture that noise print that I was working on earlier. Everything is preset as I had it before, so I'm going to leave that. I'm actually going to crank the noise reduction and reduce by up a bit so I can really aggressively change this and isolate Neil Armstrong. So he's getting his lamb now. Okay, now there's lots of crackling there on his um, audio. I'm going to cut off now uh, all of the bits that we don't need. So there's, that's just crackle. We'll get rid of that so we don't confuse the AI. That's one small step for man. More crackle there at the end. So let's get rid of that. One giant leap for mankind. Uh, unfortunately, a bit of crackling over mankind. So I'm not sure how clearly the AI will pick that up. Let's delete most of the silence. And just to make sure we haven't got any noise going on at all in between the speech, I'm actually going to run a really nice light noise gate. Again, I'll keep the spectral frequency on so you can see what's happening here. So again, in my effects rack, amplitude and compression, I'm going to actually use dynamics. And I'm simply going to tick the auto gate here. So auto gate, and you can see it's done a good job on default settings. Let's play it now. There should be complete silence in between the speech. It's probably a bit too aggressive. Let's pull the threshold down to make it less aggressive. Okay, we've done the very best we can with the tools. The AI will hopefully make it more studio quality. I'm going to save it out as NASA improved. There we go. Done. Back over to Shasta. And let's just go ahead and upload that NASA improved clip. And again, we've got all the audio. You can see clear waveform there now, which is helpful. Transcribe. Okay, the transcription's done its job. Have a proper amount of one per man or half. Is he still arguing over how much lamb to eat? It sounds like it. Anyway, uh, let's go on. Filter enhanced speech is on. Let's see what the proper amount of lamb sounds like. How the proper lamb round. That's one small crib for man. Mark by a brief for man drive. Okay, I gotta tell you, I think it did a pretty decent job. I think the one small step for man actually got a lot better after I'd done a little bit of noise reduction on the clip. So perhaps I'm not quite out of a job yet because I can do some audio cleanup and restoration before bringing it into AI projects like uh, Project Shasta from Adobe and using their enhanced speech AI super magic algorithms. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of audio knowledge, a lot of computing, and a little portion of LAM as well. Remember, if you're enjoying these videos, like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.